Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome back. My name is Ross. I come from Russia, North County, Dublin, in the Republic of Ireland. Nice little country. Gets cold, but it's nice. So today I'm going to do a little video about five people from Ireland that maybe you didn't even know were Irish. So let's do it. Great idea. So before we start, guys, uh, just want to say on behalf of all my colleagues here in E-Dublin, um, I hope you're all keeping safe out there in COVID-19 times. And uh, I hope our videos are helping to keep you guys entertained during all of this. I'm um, here in Ireland. I'm um, lucky enough to report to you guys that as of recording this video in early June, that we are down to single figure cases in terms of uh, new cases. So things are going good here. So hope you're all doing okay out there. First person on my list who is Irish but maybe you didn't know that they're Irish is Pierce Brosnan uh, he was born in Drogheda County Loud about 30 minutes away from here and who is Pierce Brosnan Ross I'll tell you who he is uh, he started off when I was a kid years ago on TV in a drama series called Remington Steel but then he found fame in Hollywood through such movies as Mrs. Doubtfire you remember when Robin Williams dressed up as a Scottish nanny hey and Amelia Doubtfire uh, yeah he was playing a role in uh, Mrs. Doubtfire and then he went on to find fame as James Bond 007 Shaken Not Stirred his first movie was uh, Goldeneye and then he went on to play James Bond for I think the next decade or so from the 90s onwards until Daniel Craig took over and uh, of course he played a role in Mamma Mia Here I Go Again yeah I'm not gonna sing anymore he was in Mamma Mia uh, that musical based on ABBA that lovely group from Sweden that maybe you heard about Pierce Brosnan is also known in Ireland for some of his charitable work he has been an ambassador for UNICEF here in Ireland since the year of 2001. So that is a little bit about Pierce Brosnan. Person number one that maybe you didn't know was Irish. Irish person number two on my list is an actor. Uh, his name is Killian Murphy and he comes from a place called Douglas in County Cork. Anyway, Killian, he started out as an actor all those years ago here in Ireland in uh, Irish movie productions like Intermission. That's really cool. You should check that out. Also, The Wind That Shakes the Barley. It's a really good uh, Irish historical. Uh, I have some videos about Irish history here on E-Dublin. Go and check that out if you are uh, interested in that. And there is also an Irish movie called Breakfast at Pluto. Uh, he also went on to find fame in Hollywood and um, Killian appeared in Batman Begins 28 Days Later Inception but probably a lot of you guys out there probably know Killian Murphy most of all for his role as Thomas Shelby in the very successful series called Peaky Blinders now um, I don't know if you've noticed if you're any good with accents or whatever but uh, in that show he's playing the part of a, a British um, character Tom. so he doesn't have his natural Irish accent so that's Killian Murphy Irish person number three is Niall Horan, a musician from Mullingar in County West Mead, which is kind of in the centre of Ireland, or the Midlands region, as we call it. Uh, Niall went on to find fame in a boy band called One Direction. Uh, they have since split up and they've gone their separate ways. Niall has found fame as a solo artist. Um, he has played to thousands of people across arenas all over Europe uh, just before COVID started up. So, uh, not too familiar with his music, to be honest, but he seems to be doing very well and I wish him all the best seems like a really good person um, he donated 100,000 euro uh, to a charity called Alone which is a charity here in Ireland which is geared towards elderly Irish people and helping them out in some small way throughout these crazy Covid pandemic times so uh, yeah that's Niall Horan person number 3 ok guys so person number 4 or number Veer or Ivra Kahr uh, why did I just say number 4 in English Irish and German because the next person can do that too. His name is Michael Fassbender. Uh, he's an Irish actor. He was born to uh, a German father and an Irish mother in Germany uh, in 1977. However, he moved to Ireland when he was two years old, grew up in beautiful Killarney in County Kerry here in Ireland, in the southwest of the country. Go Google County Kerry right now. It's gorgeous. It's lovely. So Michael, he's of mixed heritage, I suppose. What movies has he been in? Well, let's see. Let's get into his filmography. He's been in 300. He's been in Inglorious Bastards, starred in very various X-Men movies and also uh, Steve Jobs the movie about the man who uh, came about with Apple maybe you're using an Apple product right now watching this so that's Michael Fassbender Irish person number four let's get on to the last person on our list shall we Boom. number five in our list of Irish people that maybe you didn't know were Irish is 
Pena, musician from Guidor and County Donegal. Absolutely beautiful place in Ireland. Uh, County Donegal is home to Sleeve League, some of the tallest sea cliffs in Ireland. Uh, people go on about Cliffs of Moher. Blech. Cliffs of Moher is like a baby step and Sleeve League is like... Whoosh. Go Google it. It's unbelievable. So yeah, Enya, the most successful Irish solo artist of all time. 75 million albums sold. She is Oscar nominated for uh, the song May It Be from the movie The Fellowship of the Ring from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, of course. Um, I think COVID, you know, the lockdown restrictions have suited Enya pretty well because she's famous for living in her big castle uh, with the 20 of her cats. She just never really comes out. She's actually a next door neighbor of Bono from U2. That is the true story. So there you go. That is Enya. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love her music. Uh, sometimes when I'm out for a walk or I'm going for a run or something like that, I'll put on Spotify. I'll get on my playlist. And when Enya comes on, I feel, you know, like oh, ultra Irish. I just feel like generations of Irish people just come through me. And yeah. Anyway, yeah, so that's Enya, last person in our list of five Irish people that you didn't know were Irish. Okay, guys, so a little bit of a bonus thing for you. Some people have got really, really shocked when I tell them that the next person is not Irish, Ed Sheeran. Now, people say, oh, but Ross, he has red hair and so... <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? And he has a song called Galway Girl. So, yeah, I could write a song called, I don't know, Madrid Boy. Doesn't mean I'm Spanish. Yeah. But Ed Sheeran, yeah, he has got Irish blood. He has a grandmother from County Wexford, I believe. And he would have busked actually on the streets of Galway when he was a teenager. But no, Ed, he, uh, he is from England. He grew up in England. So there you go. I'd hate to break the little bubble, but lovely little Ed Sheeran is not 100% Irish. But yeah, Irish people like to claim people who have Irish descent somewhere. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Mr. Ed Sheeran from England, but has a song called Galway Girl. Ooh! Okay, and very, 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 very last one. People uh, get very shocked about this one as well when I tell them, you know, that we don't really care too much about them in Ireland. Dropkick Murphys. Okay, so sometimes on my Instagram page, which is Talk to Ross, feel free to message me down below. People say, oh yeah, Dropkick Murphys. Woo, Irish. They're not. They're from Boston, Massachusetts, in the uh, United States of America. Yeah, a lot of the members have Irish descent, but none of them are Irish citizens. Um, and to be honest, a lot of Irish people kind of find their music a bit cheesy. Not saying it's bad, but um, we, we don't really listen to that kind of music, mostly, to be honest. Um, kind of, we, we'd listen more to, you know, Irish music that's from Ireland. Um, there's lots of people I know in Holland and Germany and everywhere around the world that, that start Celtic, traditional punk music. And, and a lot of it is very, very good. But for some reason, people think that we all go crazy for Dropkick Murphys. We don't. Okay, everybody, so that wraps it up from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see me come back, make sure you leave some comments right below. If you want to see me do more top fives, more top threes, more top eights, doesn't have to be any number. If you want to see me come back and talk all things Ireland, make sure you uh, leave some comments below. I have history videos here on E-Dublin, E-Dublin class videos with Matt as well, and I'm in about 100 of the gringos trying Brazilian food videos. So make sure you check them all out as well. Uh, we really appreciate your support seriously especially through all of these crazy times so it's been good talking to you and you and you hiding behind the couch right over there i see you see you soon guys abrigado e ciao ciao beijos Mwah.